what is it now? You have to remember all this stuff. Your chip and your pin and your mother's cat's fucking maiden's name. <laughs> we don't buy anything anymore. We have to win it. But that don't mean anything anyway. Because as soon as you give them your postcode, they know all about us. As soon as you give them those last three little digits, it all comes up on his screen. All the information about you, you know, comes up like that. And he changes in the bloke beyond the counter, doesn't he? He goes, ah, ooh. <laughs> Fan fucking dabby dozy. <laughs> Still dogging on the weekends, are we, sir? <laughs> Why are we still astonished when you give them your postcode and they tell you your address? We're st still freaks us out. As soon as they say it, 22 Cleo Lane, you go, yes! <laughs> precise about our details, their chip and pin and address and all this stuff. But you ask them to be precise and it all gets vague. You know, you give them your chip and pin, but you ask about delivery times and uh, uh, uh. as soon as they get your money in that till, when can I have it? Oh! That is the big question. Well, I'm in tomorrow. Yes, but you cannot interfere with the forces of delivery. You're at home on the phone to the delivery department. When can I have it? Maybe sometime in the morning. <laughs> maybe sometime in the afternoon. <laughs> or maybe not at all. <laughs> Fucking hate vague people. You know, it's like you ever watch the Antiques Roadshow? The people that present that programme are just... Fu they want to talk, talk and talk crap to those poor people that have lined up clutching what they think is a hidden gem from the attic. You can see them in the queue, counting the money, the look on their face. I buy a Ferrari, get shot at a missus, fly to the Bahamas. <laughs> but the expert just wants to talk bollocks. It's an early 18th century piece. You can see the bloke standing there going, yeah, blah, blah, blah. How fucking much is it, sweet boy? <laughs> And it's always in nice places. Cheltenham or Cambridge, nice places. I notice it's not in like places like Toxteth in Liverpool or Moss Side in Manchester or London's East End. Fucking different show then, isn't it? Some bloke standing there holding a DVD player. <laughs> Has it been in your family long? Why, who's fucking asking? 